Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of March. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Um, this will resonate whenever it's meant to resonate, but the 22nd through the 28th, the 22nd through the 31st, something like that. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We got a few. We got a lot. We're going to take them all because we are. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the end of March. Now, I wanted to say September. So I don't know if something goes back to September that you're dealing with this at this time or something is going to happen, you know, in the upcoming September. But I wanted to say September, so... Rat. Well, that's always fun. Someone working against you behind your back. Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Hat. You will be playing a different role. Well, family wishes come true. So you are dealing with a rat. That one is the one that fell out first. This rat did, and I turned it over. There is somebody that is working behind your back. This is somebody that is very sly. Um, you gotta be careful for this person. Um, you are gonna have a fresh start. Perhaps something happens this week. Um, there is something to do with your family here. You're going to be playing a different role. And it's interesting because we have two family cards. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Your family wishes are going to come true. You may have a rat. I don't know if it's after your children because they see the eggs, you know, and, you know, I don't know. It, or something to do with your home. I think that, you know, there is somebody here around you that... Uh, doesn't have your best interest at heart. I do see you protecting your family, doing whatever it takes. I see you being successful. Your wishes are going to come true. Um, you definitely have somebody around you that is against you, so you do need to beware. Um, I feel like it's a messy situation. Um, you're going to be playing a different role in some way, and you are ha going to have a fresh start. So, I mean, it looks pretty good, even though you have a nuisance you, this is a nuisance you're dealing with somebody that is just a pest okay what do we have for Sagittarius looks like the Sun is gonna come out okay we have a new beginning here when the Sun comes out it's a new day this is a breakthrough you're gonna be in a different position uh, maybe it's a leadership role of some sort perhaps this rat is gonna get caught rats typically do get eventually get caught hopefully what do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead ace of cups emotional fulfillment Okay, this is a new start in love. King of Pentacles could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This is abundance. It's stability. It's somebody that is very loyal, that has something to offer you. Um, if this this could also be your energy, you're. I feel like you're going to be receiving some emotional support from somebody that is leads you down the path to stability and security. This could be a job offer. Or uh, something to do with a foundation, a home. Um, some, it could even be a bank loan. Something like that. Whatever this is, I feel like you are going to be gaining emotional uh, content for some reason. I mean, this is definitely a long-term, stable opportunity. It feels like it's coming from somebody that is... Um, very experienced this person is a hard worker this person is older this is this could be an older man could be an older woman that is going to be giving you an offer and maybe it's healing it could be a healing energy six of cups you may be packing up and leaving home okay the six of cups reverse this is leaving the past behind uh, i feel like uh, somebody has been clinging to something may have something to do with a father or a husband but this is leaving it behind for emotional fulfillment 
I feel like this week you are, this is all about accepting responsibility, being practical, a stabilization of some sort. Um, something is happening that is going to make you very, very happy. Money is going to be coming in as well. If it's not money, it's a new offer that leads to money. Okay. Um, somebody may be going to rehab as well with the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Um, hmm. Knight of not Knight, King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is very wise, very mature, very grounded, acts with integrity, does the right thing, um, very practical. So you're going to be making, I feel like maybe you're making a practical decision. Three of Pentacles. Maybe you've de deciding not to work with somebody or you've been working with somebody that doesn't respect you. There's a lack of respect. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of cooperation. I feel like you are going in another direction. I do. I feel like you're going to be, uh, it feels like your intuition is spot on as well with that Ace of Cups. I feel like you are in a good emotional place. You may be, this is very much practical with the King of Pentacles. You may be, uh, be using a lot of common sense, you know, being practical. You're working with somebody where you can't work with these people or you can't work with this person. You, can't, you may be in a third party situation where, you know, three's a crowd and you need to get out of this situation. Ace of Cups is self-love. It's also intuition. And I feel like I feel like you'd probably, Six of Cups reverse is packing up, leaving home. Nothing stays the same. So you may be leaving a situation. Uh, Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is somebody that is in a professional posi position that may be giving you some information. This is, this is making a decision based on facts, based on the truth. Somebody could also be making a decision for you. You could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like, or this could be your energy where you're just taking a new approach, right? You're, you're seeing things differently. You have a new perspective and you've got to do something. It's like, I know what i got to do. This is what I have to do. That's the way it is. I feel like you're turning your back on somebody that does not respect you. This person doesn't communicate that you guys, you don't work well with these people or this person. Um, Harrow font reverse. Now, we may have something to do with a father figure or a boss here that abuses their power. We have somebody here that has a hard time doing the right thing. This is uh, under a lot of social pressure. So we have somebody here that is not very spiritual, that is... Uh, doesn't listen to any advice. This is a disgrace. So I'm wondering what is going on. It feels like you're going to be receiving some sort of news or information about somebody that it may be embarrassing. There could be even some public embarrassment here because this is very public and this is embarrassment. So I'm, so I'm wondering if you're becoming embarrassed over somebody that you're dealing with. There could be some child abuse or child neglect here with the Six of Cups reverse. It's interesting that I mentioned children, you know, or there's a lack of love. There could be something that is revealed, some truth that is revealed that is embarrassing this week. Um, it's very interesting. I, we do have a professional here. It could be a lawyer. It could be a judge. The Queen of Swords is somebody in a professional position you know we have somebody we have a father figure or a person that has abused their power with the hero font reverse the truth comes out this week whatever that truth is um we have uh breaking rules we have somebody that does the opposite of what they say they may lie they lie about their stability but i feel like everything is about to change okay some sort of truth is coming out this week Page of Cups, whatever this truth is, it's good news. It may definitely have something to do with children, maybe even child support or something like that. I mean, the Page of Cups is typically good news. And I do feel like there's some news coming out that is going to make you emotional. This could be tears of joy, you know, tears of joy or something like that. I do believe you're going to be receiving a message from or you're going to be receiving information that makes you happy, put it that way. Some of you have a new offer of love coming in from somebody. This this is probably somebody that is younger than you. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
either way, I do believe that you are needing to be logical. You need to look at things from a new perspective. You need to be open-minded. And you may have to break free from something that you have been committed to. Because the Hierophant is about commitment. And that's the end of a commitment. It's a broken marriage, a broken commitment. It's like... Uh, and it is leaving the past behind. Some of you may be packing up and leaving leaving home and leaving something behind that you were once committed to because there's no respect, right? There's no lack of communication. There's a lack of compromise. I think you're dealing with somebody that maybe this person will not compromise because they are egotistical. You know, they because of that hair font reverse. This person doesn't listen to advice. They they are under social pressure. They don't, you know, they don't, they just don't listen. They don't listen. Anyhow, I feel like um, you are, maybe there's self-love. I do feel like there's self-love here. And I feel like you are going to be receiving a message that makes you very, very happy. And it may have to do with, you know, a, a stability. You know, it's a stable, solid offer. The King of Pentacles is a hard worker who is abundant that has worked hard to build a foundation. So you may be taking that approach where, you know, you got to be practical. You know, you just, you got to do, you got to do what you got to do. And I do see that somebody has to do what they got to do. And this is about stability. It's about security. It's about long-term security success. So anyway, I do think that there is a decision that is being made based on facts. You may have been involved with somebody where there was a third party situation, you know, and it was hidden quite well and the truth comes out or something like that. Um, we have somebody here that is uh, having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure. Absolutely. And they, they do the opposite of what they say. And I feel like they're going to, I feel like they could be, they could be, um, with that six of cups reversed, a released from responsibilities, released from obligation. You know, you're released, you're released from the obligation, something like that. Um, saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. They're walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation and they're headed towards something more authentic. Okay. They are. And this is going, this is like a healing energy as well. I feel like your dreams, you've been dreaming about something and I feel like your dreams have been talking to you. Really pay attention to your dreams. I do feel like there's going to be, you know, some welcome and unexpected news that is coming. Whoever this rat is that you're dealing with, I, perhaps they're getting caught. Maybe they're getting caught in a trap. Maybe this, 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 this rat is going away. Somebody is leaving. They are leaving. They're going away. This is somebody that has broken rules, probably even broken the law may have something to do with children. We have a professional here that is going to be speaking. Okay, this is a public speaker or somebody that speaks fluently, you know, maybe does, speaks, you know, uh, their profession. They speak for a living, you know. They're going to be, they're going to be speaking some sort of information. This information causes a departure of some sort causes a change. Major completion. Okay, we have somebody here that needs an attitude adjustment. This is definitely somebody who refuses to listen to anyone. They haven't learned from their mistakes and I feel like they need to accept and cut their losses. This is the end of a cycle. Okay, somebody has been flogging a dead horse, refusing to explore new avenues. And I feel like this is this is like leaving without saying goodbye. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye because this is leaving with no closure, you know? They're just leaving. There's no success here. Somebody has been stuck in the present in a commitment where there is no love. There's, and it's because of the memories. You know, so they, there's a lot of memories there. Somebody is holding on to the memories, holding on to the past when that cycle is over. 
So anyway, I feel like, uh, I don't know if there's some sort of government that is getting involved because the hair font can be something to do with government. I do believe that this week you are going to be crying. It feels like you're going to be crying tears of joy. I do. I, and I don't know why. I feel like you're going to be receiving some information that makes you very, very, very happy about this rat who has been uh, hindering your new life in some way. They've been hindering something. They've been hindering your new beginning. They've been hindering your happiness. Whoever you're dealing with is not going to be successful. They're not going to be successful in whatever it is that they're trying to do. It feels like they're trying to... Uh, take something from you. Maybe it has to do with money or money. I think it does have to do with money. If not, it has to do with children. They're clinging to the memories of the past. Whoever this person is is clinging and they need to let go. They need to, but they can't let go because they're under social pressure and they're publicly embarrassed. They're embarrassed for their own shortfalls and that's why they're acting the way that they are. Anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of, uh, you're going to be getting an offer that is... Uh, solid, stable, real. Okay, this is going to make you extremely happy. And this is from somebody that is, is very, very... Um, this person has investigated. They have done their homework. They see your value. They see what you can give to the situation. So anyway, Sagittarius, you are definitely going to be the Cain Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. This is an offer that is coming. Okay? It's a solid, long-term opportunity, something that can last. You may be laying a new foundation, building a new foundation with somebody, with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is, is kind of like a predictable outcome. I feel like we have somebody here that uh, has abused their power with the hero font reversed. Maybe, the, and this could be like the World Wide Web. So I wonder if somebody has publicized, and this public, I wonder if somebody has done something publicly and they get, uh, there's consequences. They may be going away. There could be some public embarrassment here. Either way, one of your wishes is going to come true. I feel like you've earned this. I think that you have been through some sort of struggle. You're going to be getting an offer from somebody that makes you extremely happy. This could come at the end of March. It could also come in April. Good luck.